Do you want to help VR, but don't think that your career path is cut out for actively working on the technology or applications? That's okay. There are actually plenty of ways for even entirely unrelated jobs to make a big difference. Hello Virtual Dreamers, Gregory here. There's a lot of ancillary work that goes into any medium, VR or otherwise, that makes everything work. While everything can be related to each other if you look deep enough, the following are career paths that, while not directly related to VR work, have the potential to put you in a position that helps that work happen directly. Let's start off with an example career that you're looking at right now. Content creation. Making videos, writing stories, penning articles, and otherwise creating content around the medium of VR is a form of supporting it, and is especially important at this early stage where we need to raise awareness around VR. I probably wouldn't be doing anything related to VR right now if it weren't for the promotion that's sort of aligned of the new coverage around the John Carmack demo of the Oculus Rift prototype in E3 in 2012 did. The Matrix, Ready Player One, Code Lyoko, Dot Hack. These are all media franchises and works that have greatly promoted virtual reality as a concept and that have supported the industry as a result. And plenty of people can make an honest living doing this kind of work in the process. On the note of honesty, things aren't always so peachy clean when it comes to the world of business, and that's usually why we have lawyers, governors, and careers relating to law to help us navigate the waters and come out clean in the end. Make no mistake, there are going to be some big legal battles in the future of VR, as we are steadily increasing the sophistication of the technology and becoming more prevalent. Someone is going to mess up big, and a generation of people who grew up without VR have the potential to make legislation and choices for our medium of choice that doesn't reflect our best interests. That's why it's best the people involved, lawyers, governors, and judges, all have an understanding and familiarity with the medium, so no nonsense gets past the radar. With that though, that brings us to the last and arguably most important grouping of careers that support the VR industry. Business. Whether it's sales, marketing tactics, fundraising, management, creation, and even accounting. Making VR games and VR hardware is a business. And not having someone who knows what they're doing when it comes to setting up and managing a business is an easy way for things to fall apart. Money matters, whether people like it or not, and VR is not immune to having to pay people for the work they're doing and to the arguments that can arise when money comes in and needs to be distributed. As long as everyone involved in these areas does things well, great VR companies should hopefully get off the ground and mature. That covers the main careers, and I could go on all day with the variety of ways you could get into VR that don't directly involve making it, but I want to take a moment to go into some of the things you'll have to face, regardless of the path you're choosing here, since getting into VR may not be what you're expecting in any case. To get the obvious out of the way, every last career I mentioned before has very little to directly do with VR, so it's going to be on you to make sure that they become related to VR. All the media careers have to make their content relate to VR while still making a living. Law careers have to put themselves out there to make sure VR companies face as little trouble as possible. And of course, our entrepreneurs have to put their money on the line to make VR businesses, or our business majors have to fight tooth and nail to get into a position where they can even work at a company that relates to VR. Also. It has to be noted in all these careers, your role is very unlikely to have much of anything to do with VR on a day-to-day -day basis. For content creators, it's very likely the VR part of the effort will end up being a very tiny part of the actual work being done. Even for streamers, people who could spend all day in VR, the money isn't coming in because they're playing VR, it's coming in because of how they're playing VR. Don't record, stop being interesting, just fall out of the limelight and your career can end right there. For law, things can very much be outside of your individual control, and it's going to be a battle against everyone who doesn't care about VR to get things done right. And for our business people, unless you're an entrepreneur who's so rich that they don't really need to worry about losing a few million or something, very little of your work time will likely ever be using VR or getting to try stuff out. 
These are some of the realities that have to be confronted when it comes to a career in VR, but if you ask me, they shouldn't be much of a bother to those of you who truly care. No matter what career you choose, it's going to be on you to make it relate to VR, building it or not. And even if your job doesn't end up having to use or build VR, there's more to life than work, and as long as your money and heart go towards the medium of VR, that's more than enough to count for something. At the end of the day, this shouldn't be about getting recognition or credit for bolstering up or making VR. It should be about the love of a medium and its advancement. We all want to see VR succeed. So long as you pick a career that lets you do something you love, that lets you make an honest living, and that lets you keep a passion for the medium of VR, you will have picked a career that supports the virtual reality medium. Thank you very much for watching this video. New videos will be releasing every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern time, with VR news every Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern as well. So be sure to rate, comment, share, and subscribe so YouTube algorithm sama gets you back here for more. Till next time, my fellow adventurers and dreamers, this has been Gregory, logging out.